Welcome to Earrings Off. I'm Lou. And I'm Teresa. Let's get started. Teresa, one of the first blogs that I wrote in this space for Earrings Off was back in September of last year. It was titled, The Children Are Watching. In that blog, I was talking about trying to repair relationships and how important it is to stay close to those you love. Yeah, I remember the blog. It was it was really good, Lou. It, it inspired me and actually made me a little jealous that my family didn't get together as often <laughs> as yours did. So, folks, if you didn't read it, please go, go read it. It's a good one. Well, in light of the tragedy that occurred last Sunday, the death of Kobe Bryant, we wanted to revisit the essence of that message that was captured in that blog, that message being to show your love and to stay connected. Before we begin, out of respect for all those lost, we want to speak the names of all those who died on that fateful day. Kobe Bryant and his daughter, Gianna Bryant. John Altabelli, his wife, Carrie Altabelli, their daughter, Alyssa Altabelli. Mother and daughter, Sarah and Peyton Chester. Christina Mauser. And pilot, Ara Zobayan. We mourn the loss of all those who died. While people are sharing what an amazing player and person Kobe was, many of the stories focus on his love for his family, particularly his daughters. One touching tribute shared by L. Duncan, a sports anchor with ESPN, noted that during a conversation with her, Kobe described himself as a girl's dad and delighted in being a dad to his daughters. If you haven't seen it, it's wor well worth a watch. Go ahead and Google it. Yeah, I saw that clip. Hearing about Kobe's love for his daughters and seeing all the photos of him with his family reminded me of part of the quote by former First Lady Michelle Obama, where she referenced um, her upbringing. We talked about it a bit in the Martin Luther King episode. The former first lady said, I am an example of what is possible when girls from the very beginning of their lives are loved and nurtured by people around them. Yeah, that's a very powerful quote. And as a mom of two daughters, I can tell you, we showered our daughters with lots of of love, and I believe it has influenced and, and made them who they are today. Well, that's, uh, that's very imp important. I'm sure it has, and you have amazing daughters. Thank you. It's critical the role men play in the lives of young girls. My dad died when I was three. However, I had three brothers who really made me believe I was special, and that if anyone did anything to me, they would go to battle for me. I absolutely believed as a little girl that I was something. I was highly valued. And their love for me taught me to not diminish that value by allowing others around me who maybe didn't act in ways which showed that they too valued me to not have them in my circle. Now, I don't want to make it sound like I got it right 100% of the time for those of you who know my story. But the point is that my brothers were instrumental in setting a very high standard for me from a very young age. So my story is very similar to yours. I was absolutely the apple of my dad's eye, mm -hmm. right? And I grew up with three brothers, and they treated me in the same way, mm -hmm. right? And so because of my experience with my father, I've tried to make sure that Robert has a similar a similar experience with the girls. I encourage him every step of the way to do things. I don't let him forget Valentine's Day for mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. You know, before me even, mm -hmm. I make sure that he he um, sends them things and make sure. And as a result of it, sometimes I get a little jealous because they will call him before me, <laughs> and yeah. he will know what's happening in their yeah. lives before yeah. I know. Yeah. Uh, but it's good, and I want that experience for them because I think it's so important that fathers influence on 
their daughters. Oh, yeah, it is critical. So, so today we really want to end by just offering our sincere condolences by saying we too are saddened by the deaths and the devastation all the families have endured. We, like many others, are reminded now, even more so than before, of how fragile life can be. And we, too, endeavor to love harder. Yeah, absolutely, Lou. And we, you and I, are so inspired by the love Kobe had for his daughters and all the other dads sharing photos of them with their daughters on social media in honor of Kobe's legacy. That's it for us today. Thank you so much for joining us. We pray for the families and loved ones of all those who died that day. May they rest in peace. John Altobelli. Carrie Altobelli. Alyssa Altobelli. Sarah Chester. Peyton Chester. Christina Mauser. Ara Zobayan. Gianna Bryant. Kobe Bryant.